Hey end people, I would like to introduce the Wakushi 3D printed nest system, a nest system which seems to have no limits. And it is very fun to play with, so if you are ready to play, come with me. First of all, I bought all the things you see in the video. I'm not sponsored by Wakushi. If you visit the Wakushi website for the first time, you might get a bit confused about all the links and the nests, the sizes and connectors. So let me be your guide through this really outstanding nest system. For the first look, I choose this S4, size 4, 12 to 12 centimeter complete model. All the nests and modules usually come with an acrylic transparent red shield to cover it up. Let's have a closer look inside. The special about this nest are the two chambers of plaster so you can moist it really easy over this little openings you can go in with a pipette or injector or something like that. And it has a connected test tube to provide water. I had my worries that it might flood the nest but it works pretty fine. Now let me show the different modules and sizes. First we have an S1, this is 4 to 4 cm. This one is S2 which is 4 to 8 cm, it's a double size. Then we have S3 which is 8 to 8 cm. And then we have the S4 which is 12 to 12 cm. This one is a complete nest, you see, with, with moist chambers and, and water provider. And I also have an S5, which is also a complete nest. The S5 is um, 12 to 16 centimeters. Let's see how it works, or better, let's start to play. Every module has openings. This one has one on every side. And all you need to do is you get this connection links. You have this one is an open link and this one is a closed link. So you take an open link for example and then you put it on the opening. Yes. And I'm doing it wrong because I couldn't see the camera. Before. But you know what I mean. Put your open or closed links where you need to have it. These are the keys for the for a tight connection. The link is in and now you are able to put them together in a tight connection. Let's go for the next module. This is um, an S, uh, S2 and there's another S2. You see one has more entry holes and the other one has only two. I take the one with eight so I it would be open to every side so I could do a lot with that and have more options of connections and see the same link in and see this is a very very tight connection. I think you can already imagine what possibilities and what options you have with this nest system. Here is another great thing about it. You see this is a tube connector or test tube connector you get them in different sizes and so you can connect, can connect tubes or test tubes directly to the nest. See link in push it in and it is ready for tube or test tube connection. Let's take a piece of tube and you can put it in and you have a connection of the tube with a nest connector and this is um, what we have here is a click link. They call it the cl a click link and I'll show you how to use that. 
instead of the water test tube you can click link this tube just in it is very helpful when you want to build your nest upwards which is possible with this Bakushi nest system if you want to connect a test tube to the nest this is no problem there are different kind of connectors and links and you have a lot of possibilities to do that let's have a look at the breaker module it's a four-way s1 module and special about it is that you can block every entry with this little acrylic clear acrylic doors you see it's an open or clo a closed one if you are already keeping ends I think you have already a thousand ideas how to use it. And let's come to something special about this nest system. Another special, because you can go upwards, you can go vertical with these links, you see. They're working like the open and closed links we know already and just put them in the same way. And you can go upwards, you could build a skyscraper, just a nest, an end nest skyscraper with that. Pretty cool. Let me show you an easy example how it could look like. So it's all to your fantasy what you can build with this 3D printed nest system. Very, very nice. You can open some of the nests, which is ideal for colony founding. So you can use it as a standalone nest to found a colony. Let's go over to my ant colonies and I'll show you how I have this nest system in use. Here we have my Manica Rubida nest. You see. It's an S5 nest and oh, I glued this handle on the acrylic shield to put it away easily. And here are some tubes. And you see it's in combination with my old Sim end nests from Germany, which are working pretty fine too. This is my Lazius Flavus founding setup, which is a test tube connected to a moist chamber and it has access over this little hatch. Here we have the founding setup for my Camponotus Sanctus and it has a little outworld, it's a Wakushi outworld, you see it fits perfect together, there's a breaker model in the middle and two nests or moist chambers and I added uh, a water test tube so they can choose where uh, yeah they can choose the best options for yeah to grow fast this is what I hope last but not least my oldest and biggest colony Fedolenoda I have um, two S4 uh, nests here in combination and you see some other modules and yeah it's working pretty fine Let's have a short look inside. Yes, <laughs> little panic. So let's close. Yeah, you see, connected to one of my older nests. Um, I wanted them to move in completely, but they didn't. So I la they like to move and building satellite nests anyway. So that was my little tour through the Wakushi nest system. I hope you enjoyed it. And I see you next time, I hope.